the joy of music. My name is Diane Bish, and I would like to invite you to join us today as we bring you a program of great hymns of faith with my special guest, Sung Suk Lee. Today we reflect on words and texts of gospel hymns and songs that build and encourage our Christian faith. In Psalm 42, 8, we read, The Lord will command His loving kindness in the daytime, and in the night His song shall be with us, and our prayer unto the God of our life. ago, it was most fascinating for me to pick up the Fort Lauderdale newspaper and read about an opera star who had sung lead roles in many of the great opera houses of the world. She had given her life to Jesus Christ and had decided to change from the field of opera to the field of sacred music. Since that time, Sung Suk Lee has traveled the world, touching countless lives with her rich and thrilling voice as she presents the love of Christ through music. It hasn't always been easy for Sung to make such a dramatic career change, but I know that personally she has learned the meaning and the truth of the surpassing love and peace of knowing Jesus Christ.
Colossians 1.20 reminds us that we are reconciled to Christ through his blood shed on the cross for us. The gospel hymn that repeats this truth with resounding joy is glory to his name.
The waves of revival that swept through Scandinavia in the late 1800s were greatly influenced by the moving hymns written by Lena Sandell, the Fanny Crosby of Sweden. Sandell, who wrote so often of God's care and love for his children, has given us the hymn Day by Day, built on Joshua 1, 9. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. Day by day and with each passing moment, strength I find to meet my trials here. Trusting in my Father's wise bestowment, I've no cause for worry or for fear. He whose heart is kind beyond all measure gives unto each day what he deems best. Lovingly, it's part of pain and pleasure, mingling toil with peace and rest.
Isaac Watts wrote more than 600 hymns and was called the father of English hymnody. One of his most famous missionary hymns is Jesus Shall Reign, built on Psalm 72. It has been sung by countless missionaries around the world in numerous tongues. Jesus shall reign where'er the sun doth his successive journeys run. His kingdom spread from shore to shore till moon shall wax and wane no more.
thank you for joining us today on The Joy of Music as we have brought you a program on Great Hymns of Faith with my special guest, Sung Suk Lee. We thank you for joining us and we look forward to seeing you again next week on The Joy of Music. Music